I'm not saying Tesla has the best solar installers in the world, but they're up there. They were, they're, they're up there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Cobra Pit. Now, when we were deciding which company to go with when it came to solar, it was a tough decision. Walking through your local big box hardware store or going to a Costco, you'll have plenty of vendors there trying to pitch their product. If you're thinking about going with Tesla, this video is for you. Right now, Tesla offers the lowest prices in the country. At least that's what they say on their website. $1.49 per watt and they give a money back guarantee. So with Tesla's track record and we have two cars already, it was a no brainer for us. But this year there's a 26% tax credit and next year is gonna be 22% and that's gonna be gone after that. So if you're thinking about doing it, this might be the time. If you do decide to go with Tesla, using someone's referral code will give you $100 and uh, it helped them out as well. Preferably my code. I haven't had anyone use mine yet, so it'll be pretty cool. Thank you in advance. Link is in the description. So everything is laid out right there in front of you on the website. You can do your own calculations, see how much you wanna spend, see what size unit you have. They have the small, medium, large, and extra large. It's, everything's right there, just like when you're buying a car. You'll know exactly what you're getting yourself into. If you need to know how big of a system to get, you could check your utility statement, or you could do what I did and call to verify on top of that. So I did call Tesla and talk to a rep, and you know, if you need to talk to someone, you could do it. You can do everything online, but I just wanted to make sure I got the right size to fit me. Because I started doing this before I had the second EV, I wanted to future-proof my system. Now you have to be careful because if you go too high, some utilities may decline your net metering. And net metering is when you get credit for all of the extra energy that you give to the grid that you can apply to later months where you might use more than you actually generate. Then you can decide how you wanna pay for it. You can do a loan, pay cash, or they have a subscription option. Now, many people don't recommend this because you don't actually own the solar panels and it is a less expensive upfront. Now, all of these prices includes the install, equipment, everything you need. So, you know, there's no guessing game there. Tesla will then give you a bunch of documents you need to e-sign. And if you have a HOA, you have to check with them. They'll even send a setup what the solar will look like on your house. So I have to submit this to my HOA so they can approve it. And there is some flexibility when it comes to this. Not much, but if it's an aesthetic thing or if there's trees, something blocking it, you can put in a request to switch it up a little bit. So we actually ordered it on July 24th. They came out two months later, September 24th, to install it. Now they had two days to finish the job and they came and spent two days here. But they were punctual, early, they were friendly, professional, and you know they actually removed an old satellite dish that i had up there that i wasn't using they also set up the gateway which is in a house that communicates with the internet and your solar panels i did set up a cooler and put some drinks in there some gatorades and things to keep them a little hydrated but they were wonderful super friendly super polite when they came in the house they wore the little booties to set up the gateway there was some noise some banging and things like that but you know they're installing solar panels on your roof but when they did turn off the power is off for maybe 45 minutes at the most, even though they tell you up front it may be up to eight hours, it didn't take that long. Then we had to wait for the inspectors to come out. That was about two weeks later. The utility came out as well as a Tesla inspector and someone from the city. They took a look at it and okayed everything. Next thing, we had to wait for the PTO or the day we can flip the switch. Before they left, they explained to me how to flip the switch. So I was prepared and I was ready and now I'm just waiting for the utility. My PTO date was November 12th. So I went out there, I flipped the breaker, pulled down the switch and hit my inverter and nothing, nothing at all. So I check on the app and there's no indication that power is being generated. So I waited, checked again later, same thing. 
checked again the next day, same thing. Now I'm getting a little concerned. So I called Tesla and they walked me through how to reset it. So we basically went backwards, you turned everything off and then waited a minute and turned everything back on again. Nothing happened. So then they set me up with a service technician to come out on that Saturday. I said, okay, that's fine. You know, a week without power, no big deal. But I got a little antsy. So what I did was I looked up the model of the inverter. I looked up the LEDs and I saw what the codes meant. So, you know, being a little tech savvy, I researched how I could fix it and I dabbled a little bit and I figured it out. So now I have the correct LEDs and I checked my app, it was working. I didn't want to tell Tesla because I want them to come out and, you know, kind of verify that my, the work that I did was okay and we were good to go. So that was on the 18th, six days later. The technician came out, I explained to him what I did. He said, oh, you saved me a bunch of time. That's the same thing I would have done. Well, I asked him why this wasn't done in the first place and he told me that typically if they're running out of time or it's late in the day, they may forget to do it or if they just ran out of time to do it. That's not very cool. But you know what, we got it done, right? I was able to fix it and if I wasn't able to, he would have been out a few, a few days later. Uh, it's a week in the grand scheme of things, no big deal. So now we have power. I've been averaging between 40 and 44 kilowatt hours a day. My system, which is a large, should be from a minimum of 47 up. And I finally hit that one day. So, you know, we'll wait and see what happens, um, especially during the summer where the days are longer. I can't wait to see how much we generate. It feels really, really good to be able to generate energy. And I will give an update to how it impacts my utility bill. So if you think about Tesla Solar, so far, we love it. It's a great feeling. I got the perfect system size for my two cars and we'll see what happens moving forward. If you wanna know more about this, go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget if you're interested in getting this, be my first to use my referral code. It'd be awesome. I'll give you a shout out in one of my videos. Hey. Thanks for watching and don't forget, Cobra told you. All right, y'all.